Hi, hello, how are you? This is the Handy Capable Black Women Throne Room. My view of humanity is a whole new tea. And hi, hello, how are you? This is the Handy Capable Black Women Throne Room. My view of humanity is a whole new tea. And hi, hello, how are you? This is the Handy Capable Black Women Throne Room. My view of humanity is a whole new tea. Today is a River of Racism episode, so yeah, we're going to be embracing the waves, and speaking of waves and water, if you need to grab a sip or something to nibble on, this episode probably won't, well, I always say that, but then I do, but just know that I bring up racism because, well, there are still, especially certain demographics and certain generations after millennials who think that their racism no longer exists or they think unless it happens to them no one else is experiencing racism and or certain people need to get used to racism yep someone's at i've actually had someone tell me that African Americans need to just get used to it. But anyway, anyway. So that's why when I find interesting situations and ones where I might be able to give my input and give my advice, I hope to do so. And also, yeah, this is all, this kind of combines food, ambiance, friendship, and a hairy situation. So. It's like first, if you want to watch this video, and yeah, I insert the video because I'd rather the person who posted it get the credit because, yeah, it's not my video. It's like, because I know some people, they give credit to the TikTokers and like, if that's how I'm supposed to do it, I'll switch it. But I'd rather just be like, yeah, watch this, check it out. And I know sometimes people only show certain clips of something or they show the whole video and then they only have two sentences on it, but then they are getting the credit for that other person's video. And I just find that tacky. So instead, I feel like if you want to watch the video, get all the details and all of the information that I got. And I did watch a couple others on the topic, but it's like, this is the main one, or this is what got me started in the first place. So check it out, listen to it. But in summary, this is the owner of the restaurant. And there was an African-American woman who her some of her friends were calling from out of town and they were like oh my gosh it's like we have you know it's like we gotta meet up we gotta hang out and chill because especially after high school and college and things when it's like you had your friends back in the school well yeah i had fake friends but anyway uh it's like you want to be able to get back together talk about old times new times dating weddings and like even maybe kids and stuff like that it's like she i think her her group wasn't ready for the kid part yet but you know it's like you have like the the girl talks and everything and so they went to the beach they were relaxed and they chilled and so after they went they went to this restaurant while they were talking and chatting and everything but then one of the staff came up to them and i think it was this the gentleman actually in the video actually but told them they had to move tables not requesting or not asking basically told them they had to move tables either one table or inside or a table outside and the specifics or the reasons eh, it's like i don't know it was just he did a terrible job management wise and yes i don't have a full on degree in hospitality but I do have a certification in hospitality so when I was listening to this video and I was listening to how this guy covered it I'm just thinking no wonder she had attitude with you I would have attitude with you too because like and then even in the interview when the interviewer was like are you racist 
he did like this mocking laugh and it's just like okay um he was like no of course i'm not and he was like most of my friends are black most of the women i i date are black dating a black person doesn't make you racist or does it make you not racist sorry yeah it's like dating someone of a certain race does not mean you are not racist towards that race it's like my ex's mom dated a black man but the first time she met me <laughs> she said the only reason you got into college is because you're black even though most of her kids dropped out but anyway anyway but it's just and then even politically and music wise like just while dating him she was trying to turn me into a white woman and i'm not like and it's like even like i don't i don't really like country music it's like what beyonce did artistic i like it but will it be my first choice of music no never mm. but it's like i might really listen there's a couple songs where i'm like okay i'll tie this into my music forte but it's like so when there was a robbery on the news and they showed two black people who had done it she looked right at me and said oh well at least you're not one of them and there was other times where they were talking about african americans or minorities and she was like well at least you don't act like at least um you portray yourself as and i was like yeah that i remember after that conversation my ex told me that i am no longer allowed to talk about politics and race but she was the one saying ignorant racist things so with this gentleman when you say no i date black women no of course not most of my friends are no that that doesn't make you not racist against the those people you find african-american women like attractive beautiful but that doesn't make you not racist you might be able to hang out with get along with but that does not make you not racist not in the slightest because one other example because yeah i mean i have oh when i went a little like well in the middle of covid where well, we're still in the house and everything i matched on a dating app with this one gentleman i mentioned it before he i remember the first time we finally talked on the phone because we were texting like crazy on like and messaging on facebook and stuff but we never heard each other's voice i call him and then the first thing he told me was wow thank god you talk white so he started off with each other straight with a racist thing and then went on face on my facebook because we decided to be friends on facebook and he started saying racist things like under like under th different things i posted to the point where my friends were messaging me like um girl check check this man check this and i'm just like it's only been three or four days and he is acting like I was like, I feel like I'm dating someone from the KKK. Like, what is going on? And so, yeah, that was over real quick. But, yeah, so, I don't know. It's just when he was, like, laughing at it, it was just like, this isn't funny. And the way that you treated this woman, yeah, you say you dated black women. But do you know black women? How, how much have you gotten to know our culture, our hair? and even etiquette because okay he had to move these the young ladies supposedly had to because she has beautiful curly long hair and it's like with african-american women our hair is is either going to defy gravity or it's like you if you have more of a two or three curl type it's going to like kind of be heavier type of curl so it's gonna go down her hair goes down like it goes down color so anyway so and it's really long so sometimes while they were talking and chatting she might laugh and lean back 
and her hair would almost touch like the, or they said it almost touched um the other customer's food and so part of me was like okay so that means no one was sitting in the chair behind her for that to happen and i don't know like so but anyways they said the reason they had to tell them they had to move was because her hair was almost touching this other family's food and part of me was thinking okay how which group was bigger which table was bigger and so it was like well I mean, I was trying to think of some ways, and I'm kind of thinking of more right now, too. And again, yes, I don't have a full degree in hospitality, but especially getting, I got my certification in hospitality, working, like promotional modeling, and I had an internship at a bar, which, oh, I will talk about that. (laughs) Yeah, because when two of the managers end up either on the run or getting arrested and then um the the main one that is on the run literally tricked me when i say he he was such a disgusting sexist pig but yeah he (laughs) but anyways like i i'm kind of spitting out some of my credentials but i internshiped at the bar and then like i with promotional modeling going to bars clubs strip clubs even um and yes like i'm kind of getting more comfortable saying that without caring how the well certain demographics are going to uh judge me because i'm just like you know what god's my only judge i don't even care like i've been judged all of my life so if you're gonna judge me Okay, that means I'm living. The more I, the more I'm judged, the more I'm living. So enjoy. And so anyway, this is where my opinion is going to be. But please tell me what your opinion is, what you would do in this situation. <clears throat> because while thinking about this, which table is a bigger party? And like looking around how busy is the restaurant? And were there, how easy is it to move a table over? Because at a lot of restaurants, especially if you go to Olive Garden or other types of restaurants, they just move tables. So part of me is thinking if it wasn't, if there was available area on the other side, can they just have moved one table or the other? And, but to start go up to the young ladies and let them know what the issue was let her they're like i'm so sorry it's like your hair is almost touching this food is there any way um that we could fit and then maybe talk with them see if you could resolve it by communicating and like because even like i remember there was one time at the bar that i interned at there was a woman who had an issue like with her hair or something like that uh, I think she wanted to do the luge, that ice, the, you pour a liquor down a big piece of ice, whatever, but her hair kept going everywhere. I kept, um, like, I had, like, a whole emergency kit in my in my bag, but I had, like, five or six extra rubber bands, and I'm like, oh, I got you, girl, and I put a rubber band in her hair or whatever, and I remember she tried to slide me, like, a $10 tip, because she was just like, you're so nice, you're so sweet, blah, 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 but it's like, I don't, I don't, at first I didn't accept it, but then she gave it to one of my favorite bartenders at the bar and she gave it to me later. She was like, oh, honey. So, but anyway, it's like, yeah, always, like, if if you're hospitable to other people, it'll come back. Karma's great. So, but anyway. Um, So, first, I would have, like, talked it out because in the video, you're going to see they had, like, a whole like confrontation and then she threatened not to pay and then he threatened to call the police or do something to to file charges and but then later he felt bad and part of me is like did you feel bad because you did not communicate do you feel bad because you know the way that you did it was kind of backwards and kind of to a point where you dehumanized her but it's like so could you have moved seats did anybody on staff like 
have a ribbon you could tie your hair her beautiful because her hair was beautiful i'm like oh girl like yeah her hair like she could be in a hair commercial like it was long beautiful cur like natural curly everything but it's like yeah so like while you're talking to her it's like compliment her on her hair but mention like i'm so sorry but with the table next to you like sometimes when you're laughing or sometimes when you you uh lean your your hair back it's touching the food and or with the other like instead of maybe that table if the other table hey would you guys mind like i know it's like her hair is almost touching your food so can we move you to another table and it's like we'll add an 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 extra entree on us or a dessert on us don't worry about it it's like we just want to make sure that you're having the experience that you want and you're having a very enjoyable time that's how i would have tried to handle it either handle it handling it with tying up her hair or i mean but if she said no or because they either are braided like there's i mean either way it's like some people are going to say braid it tie it up whatever, whatever but it's like either handle the situation at her table or handle it at the other table who are being in contact with her hair and I, I don't know it's just again when he was laughing I'm just like what's so funny why are you laughing it's like this doesn't look funny to me and so it's just if you're working hospitality and trust me I know it's hard work I know it's a difficult job because I know that whole saying the customers are always right that that's a falsehood that's a falsehood but someone decided to chop that quote up and i'll cover it in another episode but i i learned that that's not the entire saying and so when customers come to shops and they just act like they're right they act like it's like they're kind of sounding stupid because they're literally cutting off one of the crucial parts of that saying and on her end it's like yes maybe she she shouldn't have spoken back the way she did but at the same time i know how emotions can get to you and especially if you not if you are not communicated to as an adult and you're not given any control it's like a man is literally telling you you have to and they they're the ones that said and that's the thing they first sat them at this table the it's like or i mean unless i don't know if they have a sign saying sit as you wish or sit as you want but i mean that's another thing if if the sign says that then it's like you can't you can't really move them but if the hostess or if anyone else sat them there then now you're telling them they have to get up and move somewhere else without fully communicating because communication is key communication can make sure there's not going to be any drama or any friction or and like no questions of are you racist and am i saying he is no but the way that he laughed about it makes me wonder and the fact that he says that he dates black women but then he does not seem to understand black hair or even to know how to talk to an African American woman about her hair and how to resolve it it's like okay um okay i'm trying to say this in a nice way because part of me is just like are you dating these black women or are you um 2 a.m. dating these women there's a difference there's a difference so maybe that but that's just my opinion that's that's my opinion if you guys can let me know because i don't know it's just like when i watch this and when i listen to the interview the way he just and then hospitality wise with the restaurant there are other ways they could have handled this where both parties could have continued having a wonderful time and again this woman was able to she, she was so excited to be able to see her friends again that she hasn't seen in a while went to the beach and thought okay let's eat here and to have it kind of and she said she went on and paid it because with she was with her friends she didn't want to have 
um, this to like ruin the whole experience or ruin their day. And she was the only African American woman in the group, so she didn't want to look a certain way or stereotyped way. So I don't know, it's just to me it kind of seems like they turned it into such a complicated situation. And for him to say he dates black women, it should not have been too complicated if he in fact date black women. So, or now, if he the next African American woman he dates, I highly recommend he he needs to ask her some questions, or ask even ask his black friends some questions or input on how how could I have handled this differently, better to a point where everyone could have been happy, and why did I only think I had to move her table, not the other table? Because I keep thinking, why did he have to move them? He told them they had to move. What was going on with the other table? Who was at the other table? How rich or how big of the, was there a party? Like, part of me is thinking, like, there, there was something going on at this other table that just made it where he, did he think they were going to tip? better or something like I don't know there's different things that go on in my head but this is all my opinion but anyways let me know what you guys think but thank you for listening to the handy capable black woman throne room my view of humanity is a whole new tea and with this tea with this restaurant maybe they do serve tea it's probably a little bitter with the situation but in my opinion but If you run a restaurant or anything like that, try to look at the big picture, but also the small picture and try to figure out how you are going to be able to make everyone happy. But at the same time, the customer is not always right. But in this situation, I I see her point. She did get angry at the end, but I see her point. And please... It's like I'm work. I'm gonna be publishing and getting more of my children's books out, and also I have some really cool activity books that I'm still working on, but I'm gonna be getting out as well as my novel. Yes, yes, I'm a nerd, and I'd love to say stay busy, but I'm trying to create a, a full blown business while while having a disability and everything. So. But you guys continue working on your goals, dreams, aspirations. I am. And it's really bumpy at the moment, but I love it. And my cre- the bumpiness helps my creativity. Because while watching some like videos and like and also with my life, creating chapters about the Grim Reaper, because right now one is a superhero, one's um, novel. One is a Grim Reaper novel, and then I have a couple other murder mystery novels. So, but anyway, I'm gonna keep doing what I love to do. You guys are gonna get updates and everything like that, but please check me out on Amazon. I'm gonna be getting on other websites soon. I'm working on my website, blah 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 blah. blah. Let's just say it's an adventure, and I will be starting to talk about it. On the Handy Capable Black Nerd channel, I have two newish episodes that I posted last week. But anyways, I am the Handy Capable Black Woman. I am a woman, I am of color, and I am Handy Capable. But most importantly, I am human, and you're human too. Bye. And I oh, and I also told you that I'm going to try to not take up too much time, but I did. <laughs> As always, this YouTube channel is as messy as my life.